If you're looking to go full networking beast mode, and by that I mean multi-gig networking, then you're going to have to choose between CAT8 or fiber optics. And in this video, I'll tell you which cable to choose for your network. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. So CAT8 or fiber optics, which one should we choose? Well, before we answer that question, let's compare both cables. CAT8, also known as Category 8 Ethernet, is the newest generation of twisted pair copper cables. All CAT8 cables contain twisted pair copper cables wrapped in foil, which provides greater protection and shielding over EMI. And just to be clear, with CAT8, there is no unshielded variant. In addition, CAT8 uses RJ45 connectors which will work with all your routers, switches, hubs, and wired devices. It's pretty much compatible with all your networking equipment. And then we have fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables transmit data as light pulses through the glass or plastic strands inside the fiber cable. There are two main types of fiber, multi-mode and single mode. Multi-mode fiber has a larger core and allows for multiple paths through the fiber. While single mode fiber has a smaller core and allows only one path. Fiber optic cables are used in a variety of ways, including fiber to home, fiber to building, fiber to node, fiber to premises, direct fiber, and shared fiber. To use fiber, you will need an ONT to convert the light signals into electrical signals that devices can use. ONTs are also known as fiber boxes. If you wanted to run fiber throughout your entire network, you would need routers and switches that contain SFP, SFP+, or QSFP ports. These are essentially high-speed fiber ports. And you would also need your end devices like computers with those ports as well. So let's talk about speed. CAT8 speeds can achieve up to 40 gigabits per second and an astonishing 2000 megahertz of bandwidth. And this is the fastest of all the ethernet types. Now fiber optics can reach speeds up to 100 gigabits per second. And theoretically, it can achieve speeds that are nearly limitless. This is where fiber optics definitely has an advantage. However, the actual speeds of fiber optic cables depends on several factors, including networking equipment, cable length, network congestion, and the type of fiber used. Fiber cables are capable of transmitting data over long distances without losing signal quality. In addition, fiber optic cables offer over 1,000 times the bandwidth of traditional copper cables, which means more traffic can flow with the fiber cable without causing network congestion. Think of the fiber cable as a superhighway with 1,000 lanes and CAT8 with 50 lanes. It's a no-brainer. More lanes is more better. Now, let's talk range. This is where fiber clearly pulls ahead. Fiber cables can transmit data over very long distances. We're talking kilometers or even miles without degrading the signal quality. Pretty amazing. However, CAT8 has a max range of 100 feet before you start seeing signal loss. Obviously, in a small office or home networking environment, you won't experience miles of cable runs from one device to another. Probably less than 100 feet between devices would be the norm. However, large buildings like school campuses, warehouses, or large business offices may have cable runs way longer than 100 feet. And this is where fiber cables should definitely be used. Now, let's talk about installation. CAT8 Ethernet is straightforward to install, and is similar to the older Ethernet types like CAT5e, CAT6, CAT6a, and CAT7. But don't use CAT7, because CAT7 is officially dead. And there'll be a link at the end of this video explaining why. So make sure to watch it. And to make things even better, since all networking equipment uses the standard RJ45 ports, installing CAT-A is a simple plug and play. You can even terminate your own CAT-A cables, and it doesn't require special tools or expertise. On the other hand, fiber optic installation is more complex. It often requires professional installation, special tools, and precise handling because fiber cables are way more fragile because of the inner glass core. This makes the initial setup costs higher, especially when you factor in transceivers, switches, and termination points. You see, most networking equipment is not designed for fiber connections. It's mainly designed for Ethernet connections. And one more thing, you just can't make your own fiber cables without very expensive equipment and some serious expertise. Now let's talk about longevity and repair. Fiber optics has the edge in longevity and repairability. Unlike CAT8, which cannot be repaired mid-cable underground, fiber optic cables can be mended, potentially reducing long-term maintenance costs. 
Fiber optic cables, while perceived as more complex to install, offer flexibility and efficiency once in place. Now let's talk about durability. Cadet cables are fairly durable, and some of these thicker versions can take a serious beating without signal loss. And Cadet is also built with shielding to protect from EMI. And this is fantastic if you're gonna run the cables through walls or near electronics. Cadet Ethernet should last between five and eight years without signal loss or connectivity issues. However, when it comes to durability, fiber optic cables are generally more durable than Cat8 cables. Fiber optic cables are designed to last for decades with proper installation and maintenance. And fiber cables can withstand extreme temperatures and conditions. One thing to note is that fiber cables are very fragile and should be handled with kid gloves. The inside of the fiber cable contains a glass or plastic core and can be easily damaged during installations. So professional installation is recommended. When it comes to immunity from interference, Fiber optic cables is unmatched. Since fiber uses light to transmit data, it's completely immune to EMI, electromagnetic interference. And this makes it the best choice for industrial sites, warehouses, and factories. Now let's talk about security. Plain and simple, fiber cables are more secure than Cat-A cables because they're immune to EMI and are less likely to be disrupted by external factors. And because fiber cables use light pulses, it's harder for hackers to intercept data. So fiber is way more secure. Now let's talk about price. Cat8 cables are very affordable. And matter of fact, Cat8 is only slightly more expensive than Cat7 or Cat6a. But even though Cat8 is not very expensive, fiber cables are cheaper. Fiber cables will cost between $2 a foot for single mode and $3 a foot for multi-mode, while Cat8 is between $4 and $5 a foot. So it's almost twice as expensive. But one thing to consider is that you may need to pay for fiber installation. And you'll have to upgrade all of your networking equipment to include SFP, SFP Plus, or QSFP. And these are special high-speed fiber ports. And this factor does drive the cost up quite a bit. So what about future-proofing your network? Well, once again, fiber rules the day. If you want to future-proof your network, then fiber is the clear winner. It's faster, more durable, more secure, and even cheaper than Cat8. And to top it off, it can handle 100 gigabits per second or more. And the future of networks is always faster. So with all this information, which cable is the right choice? Cat8 or fiber? If you're setting up a home network or a small business with high-speed internet needs, then Cat8 is a cost-effective solution in terms of installation and your current networking devices. And with 40 gigabits per second, you won't have any speed issues. However, if you're working in a large-scale enterprise, college campus, or industrial site, and you require long distance interference-free connections, or you just want to future-proof your home network, then fiber optics is the way to go. And now you need to watch the video on why Cat7 is officially dead. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five.